Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve the IRQL, not less or equal, blue screen of death you're getting on your Windows computer. So this should be a fairly quick tutorial, and we're going to jump right into it. And assuming you're able to get into Windows, which it seems like most people are able to get into Windows at some point, and this is just a periodic blue screen that will appear, we're going to jump right into a few different methods on how to hopefully resolve this problem. And the first one I'm going to go through in today's video is going to be going through the Windows Memory Diagnostic Utility, which is built into the Windows operating system. So we're going to start by opening up the Start menu. And you want to type in Windows Memory Diagnostic. And the best match should say Windows Memory Diagnostic directly above Desktop App. You want to left click on that one time to open it up. Where it says check your computer for memory problems, I'd recommend that you close out of any applications you have open on your screen and then select restart now and check for problems which is recommended. Save your work and close any open programs before restarting. You want to left click on that and then your computer will restart and this will take a couple moments so you just want to be patient.
Okay, so now that we're back on the lock screen, we're just gonna insert our computer password here when prompted. Okay, now that we have reloaded back into Windows, hopefully the issue has been resolved. If that did not work for you guys, we're going to move on to the second method of this tutorial, and that would be to open back up the Start menu, and type in Device Manager. And best match should say device manager right above control panel. I'm going to just open that up. Windows 7 and Windows 8 devices should just say device manager. Okay, now we want to go underneath disk drives right here. And you want to expand that by left clicking the little arrow next to it. And now whatever disk drive is listed here, you want to right click on it. And left click on properties. Now you want to left click on the policies tab at the top. And now underneath removal policy, we're basically going to be disable memory and caching on our drive here. And that's basically what we're going to be doing. And to do that, just left click inside the quick removal option here, which will disable right caching on the device and in Windows, but you can disconnect the device safely without using the safely remove hardware notification icon. And then you just want to click on OK, save the change, and then you're going to be prompted to restart your computer for the changes to take effect. Do you want to restart your computer now? You want to select yes. So again, make sure you have all of your programs and everything closed out of before you do that. And hopefully you should already have done that since we have just restarted from the first method. Or perhaps you're coming back on this video at a later date because the first method did not resolve the problems for you guys. So at this point I also want to address the third method of this tutorial which should be to remove any peripheral devices that are connected to your computer. So any USB flash drives or mouse or keyboard, I'd recommend unplugging them and plugging them back into your computer one at a time and seeing if you're still getting the error. So like I said, that would be the third method and hopefully one of the first two should work for you guys right off the bat. And I mean, that's pretty much it for this tutorial, guys. There's not that much more to go over, and there really is not. So just let your computer restart in between all the methods that I went through in this video, and hopefully your problem has been resolved. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I hope it helped you out, and I look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.